And we are live. This is the Haram Life Podcast. I am your host, Reef Lita. And joining me this week is, you know him, you love him, the producer of the year, Chato. What up, baby? Good evening, bitches. <laughs> and if you know, we're missing one, one man here in the, the triangle offense here. Legend's on location right now. He might be reporting in with a breaking news update, but he's in Florida right now on a very special assignment. Yeah. So... Must Once be nice. From him, he'll be calling in with some breaking news. Uh, before we get started, guys, wherever you're listening, X, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Rumble, wherever you are, hit that little like button. Show us a little love. Leave a comment. Let me know what we're doing wrong. We're here to help. We're here for you guys, a little family here, us Harambians. That's what they're called, right? The Harambians? Haram, yeah. We'll yeah. The Harambees. Yeah, the Harambees. The, Haram, the girls are the Harambees and everybody else is the Harambians. How about that? Show us what we're doing wrong. Leave a little note. Leave a little something. Tell us a little love. Get us out of the Section 8 of podcasting. And, of course, guys, we are sponsored by Kratom. That's K-R, the number 8-O-M.com. And I'll tell you what. Kratom is what gets me going for this podcast. They have the Kratom Reserve. Uh, you visit their website. All their products are top-notch. When people ask, what is Kratom? What does it do? Is it this like? Is it like uh, snake oil and whatnot? Kratom's a great product, and they make one of the best products out there. And I want to thank you for sponsoring our show. And go visit them. That's K R the number eight O M dot com. That's our sponsor. Love you guys. Shout out to Kratom. And of course, guys, go to our website www.theharamlife.com. Sign up to the newsletter because later, sooner or later, we're gonna get banned. It's only a matter of time. We can't stop yep. cursing. We can't stop saying things that we shouldn't. And it's going to be a matter of time. So go visit our website, sign up to our newsletter so you can stay in contact with us so you know when we're, we're going live. And for our new merch, I know we're not wearing it now, but we have some pretty sick Haram Life shirts. And that helps Buy us a out. Shirt. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Say hello. Say hello to my little friend. You buy a shirt, you might get something something else. Along you with buy your, a shirt, uh, I, might, I, might, I might spray a little of my own little yeah. scent, my musk of reef on it. It'll this be a reef like a little baby. It's kind of gay though. Podcast that, right? worn game shirt. Yeah, oh yeah, when I'm all pitted out Guaranteed. from a Haram Life Wednesday night sweat session. <laughs> I think Legend used to call my Musk Musk uh pipe lay all day. <laughs> we should, honestly should do that. See it <laughs> just sign one of the shirts that you wore <laughs> during the show. <laughs> Put it for sale. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, a, a game worn t shirt yeah. smelling like a sweaty Albanian. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I mean, that'll probably easily two hundred fifty bucks. Do Do you guys have like Port like Albanians have like cafes that only Albanians go to? The Portuguese have that too, yeah. like social I, clubs and stuff like I, that. Uh, I'm at my parents' house right now. Two minutes down the street is a Portuguese club that. <laughs> Like a it's social member, club, member, that, members only. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We grew up in like those places. Like guys play like cards with friends and everything. Still smoking in there. Like, yeah, yeah. They don't give a shit. No. You have one guy like spider serving coffee in there, bro. It's literally <laughs> just. It, it's actually crazy how, it's the same guys that have been in there since like, 20, 30 years ago. Like, yeah, right. They, just, they don't go home. I don't even. They know go to work and then they go there. Out. Now some of those places have like. Uh, Casino machines in there, like video poker. Yeah, I just keep you there all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what's been going on, bro? We got, I saw a legend in Florida. We just got back to Florida yesterday. We got to that? meet Becky. Shout out to Becky. We got to meet some of the Haram Life family. That was awesome. St. Petersburg is pretty cool. I mean, it's expensive, as shit. it's expensive as shit now in Florida, but I mean, it's a good time. Becky came to Charleston and didn't want to hang out with me. So you guys are Goes to show you. Goes to show you, bro. She's showing favorites. Yeah. I think it's legend first, then me, then you. Yeah. I think that's, the, that's usually the order with women too, though. <laughs> women usually love legend I mean, first, then me. <laughs> yeah. You, I, I'm closer to you than you're closer to legend. <laughs> Those rankings. <laughs> that's, that's true. 100% true. <laughs> but what is going on? These last couple, I feel like we've missed so much stories and like so many stories that we miss just gets put away into the into the ether, just to disappear for a while. I mean, th- what did you have today? You had assassination attempts. We had what else do we have going on, today? bro? I what just want to know we- why there's so many things with space happening. Like, why are we getting every other day? Seems like a, like a phenomenon that has never happened before. Is oh, you talking about the geostorms, right? We're getting fucking northern lights down all the way to like Arkansas. 
pretty much. Like, what are you thinking? We're getting a CERN harp kind of thing. There's like, and I, I, you don't know what's real on the internet anymore, but like I saw on Twitter that there's a fucking, uh, it was a harp, like <laughs> pretty much like, like they Let's were scheduled to start firing it off like around this time. And there's no way that that has nothing to do with, you know, you know, shooting out auroras into the fucking sky. There's, they, they got to have the capability to do that. I did see that last week where uh, I think almost everybody in the Northeast got to see it, right? I think it was very visible on Northeast and it was. Bro, there's people, the there's people down, down near me in Charleston that were seeing it. Like, that's, pretty that's crazy. <clears throat> pretty wild. And then what did they have? CERN start up two weeks, like a month before that. We're getting a lot of things thrown at us. It is election year. So we're going to see a lot of things. But then again, who knows if it's really real anymore? I keep right? seeing more and more shit about aliens. I don't know if that's just my. Oh, they're gonna definitely. But we we failed on the. We thought aliens would have come a lot sooner. We we failed on that one. It's got to be like they don't want to use that card. That's like. Well, we that's gotta definitely hold like the ace in the hole. Like we're gonna take yeah. take it easy. Like oh bang! Like hey guys, relax. Let's take it down a notch. Let everybody. It's like almost like poker. They want us to put all our chips in, and they really have like the full house. And we think we got yeah. three of a kind. And then last second they're gonna be like bang, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, like they're gonna. <clears throat> the next pandemic is going to be something like Ebola, and then still half the public is going to be like, "It's bullshit. Like, it's all I fake." I, I just that saw will something. that will then be when the aliens come. I just saw something recently about Ebola. Hold on, here I got the article. We have a climate professor. Sorry if I'm if I sound like something's in my mouth. Pause. But I Jesus lost my Christ. voice. <laughs> I lost my voice on Monday. My girl had to see me drink for like 12 hours straight, just screaming and yelling. And my cousins came and I'm just screaming and yelling. I had no voice. So I finally have it back. Sounds like I'm going through puberty. All right, here we go. We got this guy, climate professor at Emerus Professor, Geophysical and Climate Hazards. Says, we will foresee the culling of the human population as the only realistic way to address climate change. He later deleted that tweet. Yeah. Did it pop up? Here it is. No. Let's see if we got it. Let's see. Oh, well, operator error. Hold on, we're good. You don't see it on the screen? This oh, there is. I'm here, bro. You got it? Got it. There you go. Here we go. This guy right here, Bill McGuire, an Emirates professor of geophysical physical and climate hazards at the University College of London, said a tweet saying, the only for, which foresees the culling of the human population as the only realistic way to address climate change. He later on goes on to say in the article that the only way he does that is by uh, having weaponized Ebola or Marsburg, which legend has been saying it for like a minute, that Ebola is like the next thing. But these because people, it's, these it's scary, people. that's why. Like you yeah, can oh, yeah. see people have it. Yeah. Like it's not just a, you know, you got a cough or you're congested. Yeah, but th- the thing with this climate change thing is like, if you really go down the rabbit hole, then you know about the carbon credits they're trying to they're trying to put up and how they're they're trying to actually uh, monetize carbon, where you can buy credits so you can use them. So I, how that actually stops climate change? It makes no sense if you're a billion dollar company. It's not going to be like ah, you know, it's like me being uh, like cheating on my girl, being like, you know what, I'm going to pay for you know five different bags right now because I'm going to cheat later on. All right, so here you go. Here's your six Chanel bags now, and then. If something happens, just here they're on they're on reserve right now. Probably the worst I, way to reference. I, that. I just don't understand mm-hmm. like why why it's such a thing that like climate like has there even been any sort of like proof that anything that they have done in the past like has helped or even made a dent in the temperature of the earth? Like I, I don't understand how <clears> these I don't, these I don't policies think- are being passed when half the world doesn't give a fuck what they're putting out into the air. Like, no, I know. If you uh, shout out to a meet in India, but if you go to India, like they don't give a flying fuck what's no. going on. That you go to like, uh, China, they're like, yeah, sure, climate this, and then they're sitting there going, we'll lead the way for climate change in India. Come on, yeah, because they they want us to fucking start it off, and we're doing things like giving ourselves Ebola. Like, like I I don't under like what was what? the the thing back in the day like cow car, cows farting like. That, yeah, yeah, it that was putting uh, CO2, methane yeah, yeah. or whatever, like methane in the atmosphere. Where are the studies on that? <laughs> like Bruh. that that even was a thing. 
like because they use that to start pushing like you know like the fake meat like uh, like agendas essentially that was part of the reason why they started going that way whatever happened with that did they were they really releasing them in the in the supermarkets like fake meat and all that or was that just like a fake viral thing remember when people started saying oh it's in the it's in the amps and shop rights if you look into the thing in a label it says made with whatever meat by was it what's the new label on everything bio contains bioengineered ingredients yeah yeah yeah. who knows bro who knows how long we've been having bioengineered shit bro in america like imagine the 70s and 80s people were working with asbestos here they were like, yeah, it's great for you. Some cigarette companies, I forgot what the name of the cigarette company was. I can look it up. And they were told that their product is going to give you cancer. So they created a filter with asbestos in it. And each time these people would pull in the filter, they were pulling in these little microfibers. Yeah. And I don't know asbestos. if you know, like, asbestos like sticks. It's got like hooks into your lungs and just kills you in the long run. So many people in my industry got asbestos poisoning because they were just out there. Like with no problem. I remember they used to take bats in asbestos because it was the easiest way to take off like oil in your hands and whatnot. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was, and that was deemed safe back in the day. So like who knows what was really going on? Who knows how long we've been getting poisoned? I mean, you go to McDonald's. Are you really eating meat? Honestly. No, there's no – I think it, that's like a fact, right, that they did that documentary like where it's like a pink goo that they fucking make. Yeah, yeah, the chicken nugget it, goo, right? Like <laughs> – how is that allowed, bro? <laughs> like, yeah, but you even when you're eating it, McDonald's, like, like you know at this well, back yeah. in the day, it tasted good. Now you just know you're eating shit, and it's expensive. Yeah, you, I think a big a Big Mac meal is like fifteen bucks now. Like, might as well go to Shake Shack. It's everything. Everything's smaller and costs more money. Like that's like no matter where you go across the board, everything like the size of of food is smaller and it's just way more expensive. Yeah, it's it, fucking crazy. <clears throat> No, it is like Taco Bell used to get for ten dollars. You would literally feel like shit for three weeks. Now ten bucks is like three tacos. Yeah, bro. If you spent twenty dollars at Taco Bell, you could feed like a family of ten. Oh like, yeah, they of, had easily. wasn't like the meal like the the family plan meal like ten bucks for like twenty tacos or something like that. Like it, yeah. I fucking wish we were able to go back in time, bro. I can't. I'm so like annoyed with where we are right now. Like. Everything we bothers me. At work. We were asking today at work. I'll ask you the question. If there was a time you could go back in the timeline, but you can't come back up, when would it be? Like, like 2010 was a fucking, that was a good time. I feel like. <laughs> what did you do? For, for me, you for go me back? personally, I, I was in college. Soda again. <laughs> uh, uh, OG Four Loco was around. <laughs> that was. That was an experience. What if, uh, four local was the reason why everything happened. Like people that <laughs> four local poisoned oh, us and wow. then disappeared. I mean, Me and Legend one time too, we drank we drank like two four locals each and literally descended into a night. That's it, of bro. Just You're madness. in a new dimension after that. Oh this my is god! Not your, your, that's when it, that's when you switched fucking dimensions. I uh, don't know. The yeah. most wacky we've ever been. We told the story on the podcast was when we did. We uh we did Percocets and played Madden for like ten hours straight, <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> Just going back and forth playing Madden. It was that was like that was a fun loser night, but you would never think that we were actually cool. Bro, those, some some of those nights were the best though. Like we yeah. just nothing to do, yeah. just chilling with the boys. We would play uh what was that uh fight night EA Sports fight night. That, that would be game. like the night that we'd get together with the boys. Yeah, that, like, you just punch each other. It's better than beating each other up. I, last one I played had what Roy Jones, I think on the on the. Oh yeah, that was the started. that was the good one. Yeah, they had Manny Pacquiao was in that one yeah. too. They said they bring it back. Speaking of boxing, there's a big match on this weekend for the heavyweight undisputed title, and nobody knows about it. Tyson Fury. They, they gotta start doing a better job of promoting. I, I, I don't know the, what's. I think they like it. The what's that called? The the Saudis. They can just keep laundering their money. That's why. That makes sense. <clears throat> but it's a big fight. Nobody hears about it. We're not going to bore our listeners with some more boxing talk because then they start disappearing. Anytime we talk yeah. sports, the number goes down. Almost it's instantly. a fine <laughs> line. Jesus. <laughs> no, you know, they talk about a, everything else, but sports, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Gambling, fantasy, football. <laughs> Jesus, it's just me, you, and legend. That's it. Yeah, I, but yeah, going back to that uh, harp and everything else that – I think they are gearing up for a little something. What they are, who the fuck knows? I mean, look at King Charles' portrait. Did you see that thing? 
That thing's creepy. They're just as fucking fuck, with bro. us, right? They're, well, they're, they're they fucking with us. Let's see this. Look at, let me show you what Alex Jones posted. You, you can't. You can't be serious with shit like that. And then it was like a, a few months before they it had. Is. It was this like a like horse painting. walking through London with blood all over him. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this is the painting itself. up top, right? And then you have this painting that's like, if you mirror it, look what's in the middle. Like you just have entities. And this was definitely obviously AI generated this painting, right? So look at look at the way it looks if you connect the two paintings together. Look what you have in the middle here. It literally looks like Satan. <laughs> like entities everywhere. Yeah, we can't we we can't be doing this. All right, we got a we got legend here coming in for a, a, a... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on assignment, we got legend all the way from Florida. Legend, what is going on? What's the word? What's hey? <laughs> what's the haps in Florida? <laughs> Bro, you were just here. What are you talking about? I know. <laughs> it's Trump country, bro. What's up, buddy? What's up, broskies? What are you guys doing? What's going on, man? Uh, we we ran into some budget problems at the Haram Life, so we took the Legends stuff away. We had to sell it to keep this thing going. <laughs> <laughs> how how phone, was I uh? Figure out how to. Uh... What's that? Are you in the bathroom? Where are you right now? No, no, you're good. We're no, bro, I'm. I mean. The house I have uh, has like a little office. It's dope, bro. So I'm in the office. Oh yeah, I was in that. It was pretty sick, man. They Venice was here. Venice is a good time. Venice, Florida is dope. It's just that like I was the youngest person there. It was nuts. Everybody was so much older, but the place is dope. Like when you want to go to a beach, beach is beautiful. It's just that everything in the town closes at six o'clock, seven o'clock. Oh yeah, the, the downtown area. Yeah, yeah, like we wanted to go to a gift shop. It was closed by six o'clock. <clears throat> what uh? What have you, what have you guys been doing though? Lego Key Beach, unreal. What's Sun that other Farmer, place? Sun and Nicomis. Nic what's that? That town next to Venice? Nic Nicomis is that what it's called? One of those towns. Nicomis. Hey, Nicomis. <laughs> Was it a Greek town? I think I think you made that up, bro. Yeah, I think I think I think you're talking about. No, bro, I didn't make it up. <laughs> I am known for just Co making Kokomo? shit up. I'll just sit there and be like, no, not Kokomo. It's like Nicomis or something like that. I'm probably saying it wrong. Nicomis. Night, <laughs> night times. I don't know. I, was, I went to Lido Key the last three days, and it's been unbelievable. Unbelievable. The yeah, best is, beach I've been to in Florida. I fucking love Florida. Shout out to Protocol. Protocol in the house. DJ Protocol. Hotep brother over there. Oh, Shout so out to all the Hoteps listening, too. <clears throat> Yeah, we were just talking about the the King Charles portrait, bro. Did you see that this week? Bro, I have not watched the news once this whole week. It's been amazing. It's been glorious. So oh I yeah, like I was, I've about. been out of it for the last week, and then uh, I started like looking today what to talk about in the show, and I'm like, bro, what is going on? You got to show him the portrait. Oh, you got to see this portrait. I don't know if you can see uh, it on the see on the. I'll, see it. I'll show it to you right now. You see this? So the top the one's the original, fuck? and the bottom one's mirrored to each other. So obviously it was done with AI, as you can tell. But if you notice, look inside. Like, look inside these portraits. I see, like, demon head. Yeah, bro, right? Look how crazy this is. What I think Chato's right, though. They are pretty much just – they're just messing with us, trying to see uh, how we feel about oh, all this and what's going does on. He like, does he like this portrait of him? There's no fucking way he had any say in this, right? Like – it's just like this is part is of it, alive? you know. He's still alive. Oh, uh, you broke up, legend. I said, is he even still alive? Let's be honest. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know if we're really? seeing anything real anymore. We don't even see the. I don't understand the whole royal family thing at all, like how people care so much. But I don't even know. I we haven't seen what Kate Middleton at all. She was supposedly sick. The other person has cancer. Like everybody's dying from there. <clears throat> yeah, I think Kate, maybe, Kate's maybe. got cancer. Yeah. But uh, do you know he's like a direct descendant of Vlad the Impaler? This dude? Yeah, King, King Charles. Charles. Yeah, they direct descendant, like literally maybe like four grandfathers ago. Yeah, so Crazy. this is – I believe this, is act, this was I painted like with actual blood. Honestly, 
I mean, at this point, there it's whoever's in charge is giving us history, bro. So I, I don't I don't even put too much faith in history anymore. Unless I can get into the Vatican, into the basement, and actually read this shit, I don't believe it. We gotta find a way to get into the Vatican. How would we get into the Vatican? What would be the story? We just right. put on like those fake mustache glasses. We just go in. We're How you doing, one doctor? Here? Uh, <laughs> we're two. We're two Italian plumbers, and we just yeah. we just, we just <laughs> broke a, a new commercial. <laughs> Me and you could get away with being Mario and Luigi. Oh, uh, bro, literally so would have good. to. We would have to stream from inside because we're not getting out. No, and no, it'll be over. It'll be the last Haram Life podcast. We break a hundred viewers. You would go viral. We'd have no six hundred sixty-six viewers, like, uh, and that's it for us. <laughs> it would just stop right there. Yeah, <laughs> it'll it'll be like uh, it'll be like Blair Witch. You'll just look over, you see a reef in the corner, like he's been put in the corner, and I'm just hanging <laughs> with hooks. <laughs> you see I mean, me going, huh? Uh, no work, no money, make reef go something, something, all day, <laughs> mummering in the corner, something, red rum, red rum. <laughs> Saying well, something bad, in Albanian. Bro. That's a death, death <laughs> sentence. Death sentence. I mean, I know people that can't make it out of hostels in Italy. We're definitely not making it out of the Vatican. No doubt. Yeah, the hostel's name was Lita. <laughs> Lita family. You ain't getting out of there. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You're going to get a phone call. Be like, oh, it's me, Chato. You know, your wife's going to get a phone call. Honey, I don't know what's going on. And I pick up the phone and be like, Good luck. That's it. That's where it starts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jess's Jess's mission to Albania to save her husband. Nah, he Charles is good as dead. I'm, yeah, I'm already, <laughs> yeah I, mean, I got. I should put a. I should let Jess know ahead of time if that ever yeah. that scenario ever presents itself. I'm, yeah, right. I'm right. The minute Don't Jess gets off the phone, she does like a Kevin McAllister. Yes, yeah. like from Home Alone. <laughs> like yes. And then she immediately calls the insurance company and figures out how quickly she can get paid out. And do you need a body? Yeah. Like, technically, it's not suicide, right, Progressive? Because, like, he just went there on his own. He didn't know he was going to die because I know they don't pay on. Oh, okay. Maybe I should find out if he's dead first. You're right. Oh, man. Wow. So, well, yeah, so we were talking about. Right now. Everyone, I know Ch Chato was driving or traveling this week. Chato's in You're... Connecticut. I'm, I'm, I'm in Connecticut. Yeah, I'm All home. Right. We got and in. Reef, we got in last home? night. You're back in Jersey. All right. Yeah, we got in last night. We had a great time in St. Petersburg. Shout out to Becky. Becky, oh, I'm, so, I'm, life, so, I'm uh, so mad I missed her here. It. Oh, we had such. A oh, good you time. didn't get to meet her. <clears throat> no, bro. They, you know, it's, it's tough to travel with three kids. Yeah, those the kids are nuts, bro. I love your kids though. They're so great. You know what are you gonna do? And what is, Chris's uh, kids, are, Legends' kids are already taller than me. That's not saying much, but. <laughs> we kids are gonna be monsters, Roman, bro. Roman Daddy long legs now, dude. He's he's so tall already. He's like what is he seven, nuts, dude. eight? Dude, no, dude, he's six. unbelievable. Oh, really? That yeah, kid's dude. tall, man. He's gonna be so tall. And then Rita's like the perfect girl, little girl. Like she's like a princess little girl. The, the like exactly what a little girl should be is what Rita is. We uh we went to the aquarium today, bro. She had her first official meltdown like embarrassment with whitney still not talking to her it was fucking it was bizarre bro i honestly i had an out of body experience i i literally transcended above all of us and i looked down and i said i feel really bad for those parents i said wow that kind of looks like my daughter i said fuck that looks like my wife and then i just saw this fucking corpse in the corner with a backwards hat on and a pair of fucking gold rimmed glasses i'm like fuck that's me i gotta get back in there <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I, and it lasted, how, what mean, happens no during bullshit, the... it lasts dude it was the craziest thing i've ever seen for no reason she wanted to go into an exit it was like an exit only i didn't even see this i just heard it i heard her no no fucking out and then i heard i heard whitney being like you need to get over here right now. And I'm like, oh, that sounds bad. And then it, this high pitched scream that I've never heard before, like the shit you see in movies where like it triggers like a zombie apocalypse. I was like, ah, what the fuck was that? Bro, she made that noise for, our, for the 15 minutes it took us to get out of the aquarium, into the car, and an hour ride home, she made that same noise for an hour and 15 minutes. I can't hear Just it. screaming. 
bro. Just screaming, just straight man. up screaming and crying. And then she, and then the best is, she got home. We literally put her in bed because we're like, we just, we can't, we can't deal with this. She went to bed. She slept for like two and a half hours. I went and I got her. She was like, "Hi, daddy, I love you." I was like, <laughs> "Well, oh, she's like, she a typical woman." She knows. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she's a and, woman. Yeah. And then my wife is mad. She's like, "Why are you? Why are you being?" I'm like, "She's you. This is literally yeah. you. This is you." <laughs> No, it's somehow it's still your fault, though, Legend. Somehow you're the jerk off in all this, you know. It's it's all it's because you spoil her. It's because you spoil her. That's why this is a this is a really difficult age. Like this, like it's fucking terrible with like with my kid right now too. Like, God for like he did that exact same thing at soccer practice like three straight weeks in a row, where we just (sighs) he played he registered zero touches on the ball, zero minutes on the field. Like it, it was, we were, it, we were the first ones in the car every time. Like, it doesn't was, it make you like in total side note? But like, when you leave a practice like that and it's that bad, or even if it's like a game, don't you really start to question if you were ever really a good athlete? <laughs> <That's what laughs> Bro, I, 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 I was just like, and I'm like, maybe I'm, not, maybe I made everything up in my head. Maybe I've never even played sports because my fucking yeah. kids are retarded. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, like it was just getting to the point where like he had practice every Monday for like two months. That's all it was. It was just two month season. Practice every Monday. I hated like I, I was getting anxiety. It was building up every Sunday night into Monday afternoon because I did not want to deal with him at soccer practice. And then one day he just started liking it. It was just the weirdest fucking thing. Like that's just it, how it, was, it is. That's how it like is. Like a light man. switch. It is crazy. One day awesome. they're out there, they're out there chasing butterflies, and then they're actually catching a fly, fly, like a fly ball. One day, you're like, "Oh, this kid, my kid's just gonna get hurt." You just want to keep that's up. When, uh, like, All right, we're gonna put him on a on an instrument or something. That's when Jesse's <laughs> Jesse's uh, genetics kicked in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, it's uh, I don't know. It, now you like you supposedly he wants you know he wants to play. He says, I want to play basketball and baseball. That's a, the two sports that he's been saying he wants to play to. I don't know, bro. It's going to take a lot. Soccer was enough for me right now. I, it's, I got to wait at least another year. My, my uncle. Dip into anything else. My uncle, Petri, you know, the, the kid Batim that played for Rutgers, shout out to Batim and his brother Becky. They're for, uh, fans of the podcast as well. Uh, when they were growing up, he used to always go, my one son, he gets sports from me and academics from his mother. And then he talked about the other kid. Ah, oh, he gets academics from me and sports from his mother. That's why. So both kids get all the good stuff from him and the bad stuff from their mother. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Oh, we were just talking. We just missed it. So we were talking about, like, how uh, – what is your input? I want to get your take on that, Legend, about the geostorms that you're seeing now with the northern lights being all over America all of a sudden. What do you think? Bro, you think it's this- aliens protecting us? <laughs> no, I think all this shit is for you, dude. I think yeah, it's all fake. Yeah, Honestly, is, I think it's just whatever they're. They're just do doing on. a light show. Exactly. This is uh, this is just uh, programming. So, as soon as oh, something uh, bad happens or something good happens, they're going to reference what's taking place nowadays. What you did see today, a big story, is the Slovakian uh, president, or is he the PM? Got a, almost Prime attempted Prime assassination. Minister, yeah. yeah, the PM for Slovakia. Prime Minister. Prime Minister got a, an assassination attempt today. I think he's still in the hospital, too. That was pretty wild. And after he rejected the WHO treaty, and I think he's, like, outspoken about Ukraine, saying that they're an American puppet. And he's been saying about, like, all ton of things that don't go to the narrative. And all of a sudden now, they're trying to take the guy out, which is pretty on, on par with the American politics, right? You got, what's this guy, Blinken? Playing a rock concert at Kiev last night, like singing. He's in a Kiev bar yeah. playing a rock concert. This guy blinking, like so out of touch, so tone deaf. It's like they're just literally rubbing it in our faces, going, "Yeah, fuck you." There's billions here, bro. Dang. We're fucking donating billions of dollars to these people without <laughs> any say, right? Taxpayers have no say in it. And you, the, you I would say at least that, half, uh, at least half of the country is just still partying and acting like nothing happened. Like <clears> you're <throat> able to business as usual. The nightclubs are open. It's bullshit. Bro, yeah, we're going live. I, from I, I told you guys already. This is 100%. The war is in Crimea. That's it. 
that's where shit had to go down. That's where Putin needs to make sure that all of the, you know, just the atrocities to humanity are, that are going on there from the Ukraine leadership. That's why he's there, bro. And that's why he, he's there to rescue people. It, everything you see on the news is, is full. It's all bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. All I know is Ukraine, <laughs> 60% more. <laughs> The Ukraine now has 60 percent more clubs and restaurants than when the war started. Go figure. Yeah, it, <clears throat> they begin just. Mu- I think they just announced another 42 something billion today, going over to them. I mean, it, we've been talking about it for almost a year now, and it's there's no end in sight. It ends with the next election, I think, and I think that's the plan for it. How, how's everyone doing no- uh, in Hawaii with their 700 bucks? Yeah, can you imagine that? They gave people more money during COVID than Hawaii. You don't even hear about Hawaii anymore. There's not an update. There's not a documentary being released. There's nothing being talked about. Right. The, absolutely the zero. Lasers cooled down. Yeah. Well, yeah. All of a sudden, no more laser fires because people were catching on a little bit. Like they're happening, popping up in Canada. All the forest fires in Canada. You know, that all was all around the same time as uh, ice for a year. <clears throat> space lasers just shooting shit up but that even that they were able once people started really getting deep into that uh research and everything then that that story just disappeared we jumped back into hunter biden we jumped back into a trump's thing and it would we, it just like when trump got arrested that week and they they just were able to fluff everything but the the thing that i really think about is like you don't even have anything from like you know by now you'll have like a documentary by somebody you'll have something being released it's like everything is so super suppressed and i think like you know, when it comes to suppressing today, you know, Chris Lear retweeted this thing from the, uh, I forgot, it was Beyond the Pale Horse or one of these books that he retweeted. And I retweeted his tweet and they limited the views on his uh, Twitter. He showed me the alarm they put on there. And it was just literally just a statement from a book. And you saw the little thing they put. This is Twitter, the free speech capital Twitter. I don't, I don't understand what the fuck's going on with X like right now. Like it, it makes no sense to me because... It's like they there's been more and more stories of that happening like past month or two where people are getting censored on Twitter that they weren't getting censored when he first bought it. So I still think you have like liberals running this this section of Twitter, too, because they're in tech. Let's face it. Conservative people aren't in tech. But he acts like he has his finger on the on the pulse of that company. I think he's a cyborg, too, bro. He's the homunculus. I'm starting to think that Elon Musk actually doesn't even. Uh, it's not even him that's that's tweeting. To be honest with you, no, I don't think so either. There's I think so didn't many... somebody? <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm saying I lost you there's just, the amount of stuff, the amount of stuff that he has his hands in right now. There's just no way. I mean, he's he's tweeting on Twitter all day long and responding and retweeting, <clears> and you just couldn't do that. I mean, even someone as savvy as him. You just can't have that that much engagement going on around yeah, you it, and, and not fuck up. They're fucked up either. And some someone who has, you know, essentially dab, at the very least dabbled in the AI space, like probably made his own fucking AI version of Elon's personality online. Like, or maybe he made his little homunculus. Percent. That's exactly what it is. Maybe he made a little homunculus, just a little Eli that just. Elon that just responds to Twitter. That's his only job. Like he's got this little short little thing that just right. he, that's all he does. He can't talk. He can only type back. But like even see so you see his responses, yourself. right? Maybe it's like wow, talk. bro. But you see his responses. They're like one word, wow, or cool, or something like that. Like it's not even like real thought. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely some kind right. of. He's definitely got. Yeah, because there's no definitely. filter. Yeah. There's <laughs> right. And it's always just yeah, for it, like bro. Get the fuck out of here. It's just for engage engagement on these posts. Like it, it just to get more eyes on them. That's all it is. Yeah, I agree, Jaden. Same thing. He's got to have a neural link in him already, or he's got. Uh, I'm probably more likely he's got bots, but I want to believe he's got a little homunculus. That's like a cooler thing to think about. He created an artificial human or something. That's what I'm calling. It's with. like the little. It's like the guy in the Sprite commercials. <laughs> Don't be reverse. <laughs> thirst. Yeah, he exactly. Little little white guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was I was like oh, Chris's shit. little penny when we went out. I was a smaller, shorter <laughs> version of Chris. <laughs> oh, I love the I love the little penny. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what me and you should be for Halloween. You'll be big penny, I'll be little penny. <laughs> I look I look like Penny Hardaway now. 
Oh, me Teddy too. Hart made the end of his career. The guys at work told me I looked orange today. <clears throat> hey, you right. stand, oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> I lost my voice Monday night drinking all day. You know, this was the first time my girl saw me drinking like really for a long period of time, and I'm like, oh no, but of course, Ray Fleet is a champion that he is, held his own, and I never still really around. got. Yeah, she's still around. She was, <laughs> she was impressed by it too. And, probably, but now I, I can't tweeting about it back home, back to Macedonia, <laughs> yes. She's like, my man, Help. so strong. He drink all day, make love. He drink all the tequila. He drink all day. He's strong, makes him very sexy. I like it. <laughs> then he told me to clean, and I couldn't help it. <laughs> I made love to him till the night was over. Then I made sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he did not like sandwich, and he made me make another one. He is a good man. I love him. <laughs> not so many condiments on his sandwich. You like? He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh he, I, now that I got both you guys on, I want to share you this story from this guy and tell me what you guys think about this because you guys have kids. So I don't know if you guys saw this story. Watch me and my brothers jump her daddy out to school. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. Yeah, but we kept asking, asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent a letter home. You even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't, you wouldn't listen. listen. So, so now, now you know your actions have consequences. consequences. And since, since you're too young, young to see those consequences, consequences you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, I support it. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, what do you guys think? <clears throat> so let's say for those that don't know that are listening or they're not or are listening on the audio and not watching the video, uh, this girl's this guy's daughter was getting bullied. He tried to talk to the parents in the school and had a meeting. Stop bullying my daughter. Then he went and showed up with his friends and they just beat up the father. So what do you think? You support it? Mm. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. How I don't not. It, I don't not it? support it. <clears throat> the first thing that catches my eye when I watch this guy is he's got a, he's got a straight up Freemason necklace on right now. If you notice, look real. Look look right at him. See that? That's a yeah, Freemason. I, uh, and somebody was I telling me, know, "Why bro. do you find that weird?" I'm like, "I don't know." A viral video with millions of views overnight, and he's got a Freemason thing. It's like. A little strange. And, and he's just and he's just straight ratting on himself about assault. I don't know, bro. This is this this isn't passing the sniff test for me. Number one, number two, seven year olds getting bullied. We're talking se second uh, <clears throat> first grade, first uh, first grade, um, and second grade. I don't I don't see how I don't know, man. I don't know. Something's not adding up with the story. I, I can see a scenario where. He already has a warrant out for his arrest on this, and he's just trying to get his side of the story out there. Like, and I mean, it's it just the worst place to go on the internet to do it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, so, something, something's. I mean, dude, you got a seven seven year old daughters. <clears throat> um, what kind of what kind of school district do you live in? That sounds some like hood rat shit, bro. Seven year olds yeah. bullying each other, and then no one. First off. It's seven. It's seven years. Let's let me let me pick this apart actually now because I think it's some bullshit. You have kids that are seven years old. Okay, if there's a problem between two seven year olds, it's very easy to separate them. You separate classrooms or you separate lunchtime. There's no. I can tell you right now in every school, if you need to get a seven year old away from another seven year old, there's no problem in doing it. So yeah. the letters home, I don't know. I, I just don't believe it's due to story, number one. Yeah, uh, probably didn't even Number happen. two, uh, I mean, that's cool. If your daughter's getting beat up, my first reaction would be teach my daughter how to defend herself. I mean, that's where I'm going first before even any of the letters home or any of that bullshit. Yeah, like um, how many times did your daughter get beat up for this, right. you know, to happen? Yeah. Right. So you gotta I, you hear, I hear you there. And then – after that, it's, if you had a conversation with the parents and a parent can't control a seven-year-old, okay, from beating your daughter's ass, what makes you think beating up the father 
is going to do anything. If you not teaching a seven year old lesson, all she knows is her father got got beat up. Her father seven. might start getting beat up by the by the kid at that point. That's what I'm saying. No, res- no respect. Ten years old. You're not teaching any lessons at seven years old. No, you're not really. That the first of all, the kid's not going to remember that for the rest of his life. You're not going to really implant any values that way either. Plus, you're probably I mean, just I, setting up a, a, a trauma to the kid as well. Right. I, I can see a scenario where if you went to go talk to the father and the father said, you know, you know, he, now he started smiling off to you pretty much. Like, right. Like, I don't give a shit. Ain't, on, like, ain't got shit on me. Yeah. <laughs> like, may, that might be different, but it just seems <laughs> like more of a scenario where the father probably got jumped or something. <laughs> like, that's what it sounds like to How me. Would, if you got it. How would you guys handle this situation? Let's say your daughter's getting bullied. You try to already do it with the right way with the school and everything. What's the next step? How, what, Chato, which way do you go after that? I mean, I I got too much to lose to be getting arrested for fucking fighting another seven-year-old's dad. Like, like I, I ain't fighting anyone over that, but I mean, I guess it's probably the white proper way to like the, the, you know, the suburban way is just to go and deal with the school. They got to f- figure out a way to separate those kids. Like, plain and simple. Legend, what, what do you do then? <laughs> I mean, dude, if, if there's a situation where I think my daughter really is, uh, there's a chance that she could be in danger and the school's not doing anything about it, I'm taking my child out of that school because they failed her. I can tell you right now, me going and beating up, that yeah, not gonna... his father is not going to protect my my daughter at school. In fact, it might make it worse. She might say, "Oh, you beat my daddy, now I'm gonna really fuck your kid up." Like it's just crazy, yeah. bro. That's why I don't I don't believe this. And the way this dude is yeah. talking, I can tell he's he's got a lot of feminine energy, and he's really not about that life. And if he's talking about going and y'all, you'll be all right. Get some therapy. How <laughs> some therapy for your daughter who keeps getting her fucking ass kicked? Help her. You, her you don't. Yeah, I, I watched that video and I watched like other people cover it. And like, now that you say it, I'm like, oh shit, it's obviously fake. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. now that I'm fake. thinking about it, I'm it's watching fake. it. And then I see the, the, the Freemason necklace around his neck and I'm like, this thing's gotta be fake. It's definitely I don't know fake. if it's, I could see someone doing this. I really could. Like, oh yeah. I mean, I, I've heard I th- it. I think, I think they're in, he thinks he's doing the right thing. At the very least. Bro, it's well, just... I grew up in North Bergen in Jersey in North Jersey. I remember getting into a fight with somebody, and then his like nineteen year old uncle would come try to fight me in high school, like yeah, or yeah, like bro. when I was, like, I think I was like thirteen were, years old. Seven, bro. You were seven. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this shit ain't yeah, happening like, at seven. No, yo, you want you want to know what? You, I'm willing. I'm willing to bet. I couldn't see the the guy that you posted. It, it sounded like a, a black guy. I am willing uh-huh. to bet it's going to come out that this girl bullying him is a white girl. A privileged white girl. That's where I, that's where this story is gonna happen. That would be where the it's next group all would kinds go. of steam. Exactly. It's all bullshit, bro. I don't believe any of it. This is another this is another race baiting uh you know segregation I mean, no race has come out yet. To, right, but it's coming. This is the this is the tea up, bro. They just yes. put the they just put the ball on the tee. Let's see, uh let's stick with what's Who going is on. The guy, though? I want, is you, he, I want is you to tell me. No, he's not. It's just a normal guy. He just came out of nowhere. Uh, this is what happened in another school, and I want to tell you guys what would you think if this happened with your daughter's teacher? Look Pilot what he's doing Shelley. here. Last, Last Friday, Friday, ten minutes before this. Mind you, this guy got fired from his job because of this video. And posted videos like this. Take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was what inappropriate, you and other people saying this was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and people were just making it weird. So of course, I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. So, that video is four minutes long. We're not going to listen to this little creepy guy talk too much. But like here you have a teacher. Dude. Yeah, you, you got a teacher having his uh, students unbraid his hair. Like, this is this Gro- is not even groomer. a high school student. Groomer. That's grooming. That's what I thought, man. When I see this, I'm, a lot of people were, like, conflicted with it. But nah. I see it, I'm like, wow, get the fuck out of here, man. I don't want you... I don't. There's no reason for my daughter, niece, or anything else to touch a guy's hair that's teaching yeah. them. There's no reason for that. Bro, you're, they're there to learn, not not be your masseuse or your your esthetician. Nail tech, yeah, or whatever you do. 
He's gay, bro. That that guy's gay. Straight up gay. Groomer. Yeah. Pedo wants to be around little kids. Fuck that guy. Yep. I agree. He just got fired from his job and it, and it led to like this big good. debate. Why, why was he fired? Why was he fired though? I would love to for know. For inappropriate their, like, behavior. All right, good. Being gay. Yeah. I mean, Jamie you're, you're not, you're not teaching. In the house. Just focus on teaching. Like that's what like half of these teachers right now have like forgot. Like, bro, they want to be succeed. viral. They want a lot of these like, teachers want to be viral stars so bad. Even like the hot teachers, which hey, it's easy on the eyes, and I don't mind. But like, your whole thing is trying to be the hot teacher in class. Like, come on, because like, the majority of the teacher are man mentally ill, bro. Bullshit. Yeah, there, there's so many like videos you'll see of like hot teachers just. Like being in class and then being like, oh, this is what I do and get my students to say, you know, it's like, hey, your job is to teach. And there's a big epidemic now, or I think that's the right word, big epidemic of teachers sleeping with like teenage boys. Like I think just last this month alone, there's already like four stories of uh, hot teachers, teachers sleeping real with good them. though. Yeah, some of those teachers. Yeah, I know. Good. They look good, but that's I mean, I'm sure if your son is sleeping with a teacher, you're not going to be too happy. I mean, yeah, what do you... <laughs> yeah. How, how, how do these stories even like? How... So who's snitching all, like all the bro, time on these? Can guys? I just say one the thing? The moms, bro. It's mom switching. That's what happens. When, when I was growing up, it's every one of my teachers looked like fucking Ultimate Warrior when he finished with a match. You know, like his yeah. fucking face paint <laughs> run all bro, down, all dressed up, teaching whole yeah. careers, like the hair on nonsense. their chin. Yeah, like they had bro. butter, Mrs. Butterworth candies in their pockets. They smelled bad. Like those were yeah, exactly so they weren't hot. Like, no, I know. Now these teachers I, like I know a, a few girls that were absolute morons. That morons whores that they are now teaching kids. Like I think it was just the easy degree in school. I'll be honest. Uh, I don't think it's that hard to get. It is a little oh, strange though. I mean, if your son is fourteen, fifteen, and he's banging a teacher, it's, I mean kind of cool and you'll probably be like that's my son but it can girls at that age but well, women at that age it's not a good thing to get involved with it's do you, not gonna do land you, good do you fist pump your son like when your mom's not looking the mom's not looking obviously but like you let him know like hey you know i respect it but can't be doing that like like i i don't know like i i'd be a little proud legend we can hear you typing on the phone oh sorry yeah <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get out though. Whitney's birthday is tomorrow. I'm still in Florida. All right. I got date night coming up. I just want to let you guys know. I wanted to pop in, show some love. All right, legend. I'll be back in a couple. Well, of uh, right, thanks buddy. for coming in here. That was the legend report from Florida. Thanks, legends. Thanks for checking in on the later boys. On like Wednesdays. Later, brother. Yeah, hey, buddy. And then there was two again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but even like when we came to like that, that's a good point. Like if your if your son is sleeping with a teacher, right? It's cool to say, and if even the teacher's hot, you're probably like, oh, yeah, but, bro, I know what it's like to hang out with chicks at a young age. They can mess you up for a long time, bro. It's not a good idea. My, my advice to young men is, like, stay away from women in high school as long as you can. It's not even worth it. Is that, is that considered um, – Oh, you're going to no. jail. It, is that pedophilia, though? Like, oh, yeah. It, like, what is that? You got to register like, as a sex offender. But is it the same, like – like what's going on in the head, right? Like, is it just like, are you into, you know, younger dudes? Because you know, it's maybe it's a mental like illness aging. They, like they enjoy the the power they have over the the this guy who obviously is, you know, they're fascinated over there. They're fa infatuated with this uh, person. That's what it is, really. It's a it's a mental illness. They enjoy that. They enjoy that this guy who's looking at her like, oh my god, my teacher, and so cool. And they enjoy the fact that other people are talking about it. Like they're the talk of the town. Like they know the kids are talking to the friends. So, if I'm banging a teacher, I'm telling everybody. Uh, that's why I want, like who's snitching because it's definitely the friends who aren't getting any ass from the. Country. Of course not. Like, I would definitely that. snitch on my friend if he was younger. I'd be like, well, how, yeah. does he, how, come, how come he gets to bang Mrs. Cooper? Yeah. <laughs> like what did I? I, mean, I passed my test too. I get. I don't. I don't get nothing. No, all it takes is me getting one bad fucking grade on a test that I studied on and. A, you know, legends getting a fucking A minus or A plus. On, yeah, yeah. on and an exam, he just wrote his he just wrote his name on. Like, yeah, and he's getting laid. I'll be like, that's not fair. Yep. Not yeah, not only is he getting laid, he's passing tests too. Yeah, 
Get out of here, bro. I was about to get fucking. <laughs> was about to get college recommendations from this teacher. Like, what are we doing? Like, oh man. But, I mean, talking about talking about uh pedophiles. You see the um, what's that dude? Uh, Vitali. That. Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. The Vitali. He's doing like this whole thing now, like where he's catching pedophiles. He was there with the guy's he, impression fit the other day. So I don't. I don't think like I, society in general, but I was going to say like the police aren't doing enough for, to stop all the fucking shit that's going on nowadays. But I, I think he got like removed from his sponsorship with whatever streaming platform that he had for posting these videos. I think it was kick or I don't know if it's Twitch or kick, bro. That's probably millions of dollars. He's losing. You know, I'm not mad at it because I think these guys with large platforms should actually, you know, put these guys on blast. It's the best way to do it. I mean, we really you think about it. All you had was to catch a president predator with Chris Hansen. And then after that, you didn't have anything else. This is a great way. All these streamers doing it. I mean, it's a weird thing that this is the new grift because I see a lot of people doing it now. But they're taking like I think he's got little pump coming on and he's got he's doing one with Ryan Garcia. I'm looking at his page right now and he's got like. Who else so, got uh, a Tyler, was it? High dollar Brad, sign coming on. Yeah, dude, that body, that bodybuilder guy, Bradley Martin, whatever. Yeah, he had him on. Yeah, Bradley Martin on last week. This week, he's got T Grizzly, Bobby Schmurder. You know, he's doing seven nights of catching predators. It's good. I mean, I hope it's real. I really do hope it's real that they're doing. I it think it's real. They, it was a famous. The one that I think got him banned from his streaming platform was a a famous, I think, producer or director. It, it, like. That's like this is a name that people know, you know, people in the industry. It's it is a strange thing, man. It's it's a strange thing how they just like law enforcement really does nothing about it. Like they they're not active. It's just Twitter in general. You have so many incels. I talk about uh, this girl I follow, BX. Like she infiltrated a Twitch community that was actively grooming kids, and then when she told Twitch about it, Twitch was like, "Yeah, we handled it. Did nothing about it." Something like. Thousands of kids were getting uh, exposed to these like weird grooming cults that were on there because that's where they are. They're pretending to be kids on like Minecraft and what's the Roblox and all this stuff that these kids play. They're pretending to be kids and inviting you into chats and being part of these like guilds and groups. And I was a dork. I was a game when I was younger. So you become part of like a little group or a guild and then you can do missions together and everything. But this like, shit's always, it's fact, always been around, right? Yeah, it's yeah, always 100%. been around. But it's. The it's, access is easier it's, now. It's, it's, the access is easier. It's it's yeah. all over the place. It's in your face. And it, it's there's a fine line that's been, you know, I would say since like 2016-ish where it's like more and more is becoming accepted. Like as like, this is okay. Like, you know, having kids, you know, unbraid your hair as a teacher in your classroom instead of learning, that's okay. Like that's like Perfectly shit fine. like that, bro. Like, <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like it's almost like look at New York right now. Like, what can you get arrested for right now in New York? Like, you, actually, I arrested. mean, it depends. Depends who you like, are. If you're wealthy, white, rich, you'll get arrested for anything you do. If you're an immigrant, you come in, you'll they'll let you get, you'll let you right off. Yeah, so, I mean, like, you know, these people who are you know sick in the head, like they, they're probably like seeing like the you know the way things are going in this country, and we're like, let's you know, maybe like ten years ago, I wouldn't have pressed my luck but like right now like i feel like even if oh, i yeah, do get caught i'll be a slap on the wrist well oh, people just rob it absolutely jaden bx is definitely way too badass and she's a smoke show too <clears throat> but yeah no you're new york city there's constant all the people that are getting caught like beating this person that just stabbed the woman for no reason he was like oh last week for beating up another person there's no problems no nothing just didn't even what go get him the- help what about that? Uh, I don't know if it was. I think it was New York. The dude who, like, it looked like a belt or something that he wrapped around some chick's neck and then raped like, her as she was car. walking. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck, dude? Like that. Yeah, that's dude. the type of shit, bro. That's just. It should be automatic, like death penalty. Don't even. Bro. There's fucking clear cut evidence of what you did. Like, you're you're dead in a week. You know, in the ideal world. And then uh, speaking about New York, then you had this guy. I don't know if you heard the story of Dexter Taylor. Uh, he was a 53-year-old software engineer. He just got 10 years in prison for putting together his own guns at home. He was like making his own. He was doing hob. He had his hobby of uh, making guns. Like uh, what are those guns called? The uh, 3D gun printing type of gun. He got uh, 
10, almost 10 years for doing it too. Like a straight violation of his second amendment. That's a I didn't, I didn't even know that's illegal. You can't yeah. do that. Let me see. Uh, let me share something from Whitlock. You know, I can't say in Jason Whitlock, but I just want to share this with you guys. New York, New York calls, calls him ghost gun. gun. Dexter, Dexter Taylor, Taylor is a 53 year old Brooklyn, Brooklyn uh, software, software engineer. engineer. He's, He's a, a father. father. No, no prior, prior criminal, criminal record. record. Dexter, Dexter Black, Black man, man in, in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Software engineer. He's, he's a nerd. nerd. He's a geek. He, he likes to construct, construct guns at home. New York, New York calls him ghost, ghost guns. guns. Joe, Joe Biden, Biden calls him ghost, ghost guns. Gun. It's the it's assembling untraceable guns. In, in your, your home. home. And, and so, so in 2022. 2022 no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. yeah. In, in April of 2022, 2022, I'm right. Come on, Willa. Allegedly, Allegedly in response to the rising concerns about ghost guns, guns Joe, Joe Biden, Biden and his administration implemented new regulations requiring serial numbers on these firearms when handled by federal firearms dealers. dealers. All right, I can't stand Whitlock. Yeah, he's a fucking. You know, he takes way too long. He's he's definitely a jerk off too. But I, the story itself is very interesting. This is a guy who had a hobby of making ghost guns, or you know, assembled his own types of guns. He never used them before. He wasn't caught with doing anything, and now they're just saying because the. I remember when Joe Biden administration was going after them because they want everything serialized. They don't want you to have guns. Period. That's obviously the play. I, I could see the reasoning for why you would have a ban on guns like that. It should be. If you get caught doing anything with a gun like that, it should be a severe penalty. If you get caught selling a gun like that, it should be a penalty. Making them and just owning them? Why the fuck is that? It's a hobby. Really. If, just if I can figure something. out how to make a flamethrower in my in my backyard, am I not allowed to do that? I don't. I, maybe I'm not. <clears> I, I don't know. But it's just with anything. Let's say even when it comes to something with a building, if it's like let's say you're building something that's not what they want to be built. Let's say you made it, you, you know, you, you rig something up, you know, that you just know it's going to work that way, but it's not their approved way, but it's still working the same way. They'll find you for that. And it's just all about the control aspect. Uh, of how, how many people have designed like, you know, car engines that work off of a uh, water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like they, they find them they, dead. <laughs> they got their house raided, you know, immediately. Like, like it's no, absolutely. There's like yeah, some crazy story that some of these guys just end up they find them dead. I think the guy, yeah, the, I, I one feel of like the guys that was little... remember the in, in Rochester when there was that big mass shooting or like Buffalo around there. One of the guys had like a patent to oh, like the grocery have, store, yeah. One of the guys had a patent on a on like water, a water car that was like a car that ran on water, it just so happened to die in that mass shooting. So strange, right? <laughs> you can't make you shit mad, up, like, bro. Like. <laughs> that's what they're they're able to like just hide shit like that behind a mass shooting like there's one target but you got to spread it out like oh i i definitely believe it man 9 11 was probably one target too <laughs> who knows <laughs> i think it was two the, yeah probably a couple a targets <laughs> yeah, a couple floors on there yeah. right <laughs> he's like fuck we ran out of planes <laughs> take out that that building seven well, speaking about New York, you know they put this thing called the portal in New York, right? In the Flatiron District. Have you heard about this? It's already shut down. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's already shut down. For, for the first week, you had people in uh, Ireland just sending back. Well, for those that don't that you don't know, it's like this big uh, FaceTime video that looks like a portal. And it, there's, they set it up in Flatiron District in New York and somewhere in Dublin, right? And you can you know, talk to people like you're FaceTiming. So whoever's over there can see you, vice versa. So people, the first week... People in Ireland were just showing up, showing 9-11, like, pictures at everybody in New York. And then last night, you had some girl, some OnlyFans chick, flashed in the tits, and that's, that was too much for them. They were like, no, we got to shut this down. That's that's where we draw the line. Yeah. That's the line. <laughs> I mean, what did you expect was going to happen? I right? mean, like, Of course, you got something in New York. Yeah, eventually this going to happen. Eventually, you're going to find a homeless man just jerking off or pissing in front yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, like, of course. Here she is too. She made something like 
The people are loud. It's a good marketing we stunt. To, we might have to do a little bit more research on this. Maybe get her on the podcast yeah, and discuss this. There's a few cameras cameras on uh on the ireland side that i think we have yeah to yeah we might have to really look into this and see what's what the what her real purpose was maybe she had a a story to tell and nobody's letting her tell a story she made like one of those like streakers on a on a field or a court where they have like a you know a protest oh, you know, thing she painted was on chick, her uh, chest you know what who she was she was a chick that licked toilet seats at the airport remember that one chick that went viral a while ago that, that was, was this yeah that was this chick Oh my god. Bro, you're licking toilet seats at an airport for money? I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> what sucks is that she's probably like 10x us in terms of in terms of wealth <laughs> just based off of this stupid shit that she does. Oh yeah, 100 percent I think she made like 30k in two days because of this. It's insane. You're just showing your tits. <laughs> I make people sick when I Bro. show my tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's people pay me to put my shirt on. They're like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> my only I mean, advanced model is start naked and start getting clothes for money. You know, this is like this is why like the world like hates us, bro. Like <laughs> shit like this, where it's like we're making people like this famous and like wealthy, and like there's people like all over the world that are they you know they work manual labor their whole lives and no, they have nothing see, to show for it. Like if you got a nice pair of tits and you look and you look good. You can just do a publicity stunt like this, and here you go. Bang. Instant millionaire. She'll be on podcast next week. She'll be all yeah. over the news. You know, conservative podcasts will jump all over it. They love hot chicks, conservative podcasts. We got to figure yeah. out, we got to figure out, like, a chick like that. Like, how awesome would it be if we paid her, what, take out a loan or whatever, wear a Haram Life shirt next time you do something like this? Like, oh, why not? Like, well, she's that's all it takes. Own. I see it. No, on she the back. A, just have on the, she has to on do the it like the old fighters did. You know how the old fighters used to put WWW? You know how they tattoo? Yeah, the that's, that's what like, you got to put just, on her. Something WWE, like that. WWE, like, wrong life. Fuck. I mean, <clears throat> we I'm not, it's, not been, it's not beneath me to go that route for the show at this point. I'll tell you what. We're probably going to lose users if you do that at the point. No, not me. <laughs> not me. But you in general, I can just see you taking me shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> For me to try setting that up, you know, we we, we know we have some we have some friends of the show that might be able to. Oh yeah, absolutely. Know. We'll definitely have somebody set something up. But I mean, what did you expect? This is New York City. This is with all their problems going on. The first they have to put this thing as an art installation for them. New York City is such become such Should've, a shit hole. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's just I feel was, so it sucks because I grew up in the city and the city was had this lore about it. Every time I went out in Manhattan, it was so much fun, so exciting to go. I mean, you sh- I'm sure you went out too when you were younger. You yeah, weren't. So far. I, I I'm gonna be in North Jersey next week. I normally we would go to the city, you know, you know, a few times a year at least when I was living in Jersey. I want nothing to do with going across no. that fucking river, bro. Nothing. Absolutely not. Not only that, it's not. It's also a month's salary to just go out with your family too. You got a pretty big family, but. It's just not worth it. Finding a way to be safe. It's just, it's, it really isn't. And plus, what are you going to see, really, that, that you haven't seen? But let me know when you do get here so you can be hang out with me and wife. Yeah. Here. You know, we got to do, we got to hang out 100%. Yeah, I'll be down there this weekend. <laughs> oh, great. Where are you guys are you staying? Uh, down down uh, by uh, your t- parents? Totoa. Totoa. Yeah, her parents. So. Oh, nice. North Jersey. Yep. North Jersey, baby. All right. What else we got here? We got, oh, here we go. We want to talk about. A based country here. I think South America is going to save the world. Ready? Look at this. Peru classifies trans. Oh, look at these transgender, nine variant, nine binary, and intersex people as mentally ill. Finally, the controversial decision was made to ensure the country's public health services could guarantee full coverage of a medical attention for mental health for the trans community. The Peruvian Health Ministry explained. The decree will supposedly so this, this, alter the language. This is a good people. thing. Yeah. This is an actual good thing. This is like, I, we've said this multiple times on the show. We're like, these people need help. Like, you, by like giving in and acting like they don't need help, 
is doing them a disservice ultimately. Like you would prefer, like I guarantee you the, the suicide rates probably have gone up among transgenders I mean, in the past few years. They're already they, they've at, had to have gone up. Like they're, they're already is, at they're already at a huge like I think they're at like a 90 something like people that have actually fully converted, I think they're at a high 90s clip of them uh taking themselves out. Yeah, it, but I think it's I mean, a good idea. But I just don't. I have to like really read into it. I hope it's not just like clickbait and then it's like really giving them more money because I, I've heard some of the activists saying it's just going to lead to conversion therapy for them and they're taking away their rights. When I think you're giving them more help than what they need and they really do need help. A lot of these people. I think if you really <laughs> want to go through, you know, the transition. Fuck that. That's if that's something you want to do. Do it. All right. Like it. If you got the money to do it, do it. But I think it would go a long way if we at least had, you know, some sort of mental health services at, at the very least available to people who are feeling this way. At least have another option, like to, like some sort of option uh, to just talk to someone about it, yeah, like without any st any stigma of being like this is bit you know bigotry, like like this is like no bro, like <laughs> like it's to help you. Like I mean, plain and simple. Handle if I was the dictator of a country, they handle it a lot better than I would. I mean, Exit, to me, it's bro, like right I, I assumed right off the cliff. See yeah, you later. When you said that Peru was, hand, was handling it differently, I was like, oh, Peru's executing like, like, <laughs> yeah. in the streets or something. Like, like I like. No, uh, if if I was the leader, it wouldn't even happen. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I just don't get it. Like, at the, at the very least. It's it's good to have an option, but the fact that are we going to start you know protesting Peru now? Like, is that going to be the no, next thing? It's it's probably going to be the next uh, next thing you get hit with some bullshit. Who knows? Some kind of the guy is in charge are going to get hit with some kind of scam or something else like that. Because you see it with all over the place, just like with this guy from Slovakia, right? When you don't play with the with the world order, they find a way to get at you. They have plenty of ways. You heard Adam Schiff, right? Like seven years ago, when was it? When he was on uh, CNN, when he's like, you mess with the intelligence community. We have seven ways to Sunday to get back at you. The guy openly said it on national TV. And they're not scared anymore to do it. So who knows? But I, I think that that's a better conversation to have than approach it the way I would, which is bigoted and, you know, unsensitive, which is just something like, ah, whatever. They just probably don't deserve it. But, but it's also it's like, <laughs> it's not like our fault for feeling that way, though. Like, it's been shoved in our face yeah like, that, for, that's for probably a few the years now they shoved in our face and it's got to the point where like why are they why is there like op opinions on it like why am i being forced to like have to like if i don't enjoy it i'm a scumbag i, I don't understand like that makes yeah, no that's, sense because they want that visceral re reaction from you they want to entice people to uh, say crazy shit and do crazy shit because it's, then it's a lot easier to enforce th the speech that they want. Because if they can enforce you to be violent towards this group, right? Well, we can just enforce it for anything we want at this point. We'll just make a broad law that can just pretty much say anything you say negative, we can arrest you for or fine you or whatever. Like, that's, that's, I, that's the play here. I, I would bet, I would bet anything that like bigotry and racism and are, it's more prevalent now than it was back in 2020 when oh yeah all, you know it, it, everything supposedly hit like you, you know a, a pressure point right like it, i feel like it's been thrown in our faces so much that like it's almost like it's like they're stoking the flames like well, I don't, instead of like it, actually trying to help they're actually they're making things worse like well i don't I like that's it, that's funny you i was just gonna bring it up now for our next topic but uh if you look on Twitter right now, you're getting monetized. People are being monetized right now, just being blatantly racist. And you're the, they're crazy. hiding it, under the guise of of comedy and being this and whatever. But like I don't listen. I love comedy. I used to do stand up comedy. I write comedy. I do. I'm I'm in the comedy world, and I don't find anything comedic about it. Like there's certain things. I understand the hypocrisy when people are making the point of oh you can be racist this way, and then when I say it, you get offended. That's a good point to be, but yeah, I'm no, seeing like things it's... that are just blatantly unfunny, blatantly racist, and it's getting so much engagement. They're getting paid to do it, 
And it's just that I don't know. I don't know where it really is going to end. On it, that. It, it, to end. me, it, it it feels a lot like, uh, you know, with the where it almost like it's got to be fake. Like there's no. It's just for engagement to show people on the left. Like look at what these people on the right are following and retweeting. Like it's got. It's. Cause I just don't. <sighs> I, I, it's it's, just, uh, it's such a shitty people. Play, people just, feel that way. People definitely feel a certain way, but I don't. There can't be that many people that are so open about it that like they're right, tweeting you know, to hundreds of thousands of people. There's people that are doing it for black people, Spanish people, white people. They're doing it. To, they give it to everybody, but it's not. It's done in poor taste, and it's such a short shelf life for a grift. Like that's not a long standing grift. Because yeah, you're only no. getting the emotional. Oh, it's exhausting. It's got to be yeah. exhausting. Like to, imagine pissing that, people that's off. That's your stick. I did it for a long time where I just trolled people all day. It was one of my favorite things, but it Can't was exhausting. It, Can't stay in the mud that long. No, forget it. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> I would sit there and, and and fight with people for days on Twitter back in the day, nonstop. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And now it's, I just never do it anymore. I just don't have it. Like you're right, being in the mud that long with somebody going back and forth. No, then you start questioning, what the fuck am I doing? Like, but what, the minute what? Elon said we're gonna pay you for engagement, they were like, oh shit. We that's all, all it, that that's what, kind of going back to like it's like it we're getting like <laughs> like the wrong things are being promoted in this country right now like by yeah. far like it's not maybe not, it's not i wouldn't even say this country like it feels like everything west of like russia <laughs> is like promoting the wrong things <clears throat> like that's kind of what it feels like yeah, well, that's why you're getting demonized so much with Russia, too. That's why they don't even want to tell you about Russian culture. They want you to think that these guys are just beasts. Like, they don't even think straight. And all they want to do is take over all of Europe. And meanwhile, they're a really conservative, God-fearing country. You know, most of those people, everybody thinks Putin's got this stranglehold. But people don't realize a lot of Russia is so secluded, like nowhere near each other. Like, up in the north and, like, by even by the south, like, by where those Arabic countries are. Like, those guys... Still feel the same way, still act the same way. They're, they're very patriotic and they're very conservative, and has nothing to do with the leadership in Russia because they kind of live in their own countries too down there. So th they want you to see that's the demonizing thing is people that have their, their sense of pride and all this. But yeah, the, the Twitter thing is just getting worse and worse. And I see people that like I know that's become famous all of a sudden now switch into the racist grift and i'm not mad at it like i'm not hating i wish i can be that slick sometimes to think of saying some of the things that they say yeah I and i'm like damn i could say that but like there's got to be a way like <laughs> it's, it's a, such a short shelf life and i don't think it's going to last too long and it's probably going to come with consequences at some point like they'll probably pass something and they'll find something original they'll do something that way or they'll start banning it's, yeah it's, it's going to get so bad to where enough people will be like yeah, we need like a an overhaul of the censorship on the online. Like we, yeah, maybe, some, that's, like, maybe that's the play, right? Maybe I mean, the, eventually, it's going to get to the point where you're going to be able to pinpoint a, a, a mass shooting or whatever, a mass casualty event to hateful speech online, and well, they've already tried to do it. If that's right? like it, it, <clears throat> like that's uh, to me. I keep thinking they're going to do something like that where they can trace it back to MAGA and pin that on Trump. Like, like that, that's got to be the play. I think that's the easiest thing they could do. No, of it's course. of course it, it would be easy. To, it would be easy to like, I, I, like I said, I think majority of these accounts on online specifically Twitter, I think they're fake. They're just, it's just for engagement. They, they know what they can get, whether or not they <laughs> feel that way or not, like with the, whatever views they're spewing. Like it's no, no, it's yeah, just I, it's I, just I, to monetize it. I just find it, you know, I find it interesting how people I know personally that that switch this way, and they're getting paid. You know, they're really getting paid from it too. You're getting payments going too, but I don't know. I, I just feel like it's like you said, it's exhausting. You can be in there's a lot smarter than that. They, it's just, it's funny to see. And don't get me wrong, I love when people get triggered. It's one of my favorite things in the world to just see see somebody go. Funny is funny, trail. right? Yeah, funny's, funny's funny, always gonna but, be funny. Yeah, but it's, it ain't it ain't right. <laughs> like it, it ain't right no. to see like this no. is how people are getting famous now, bro. Like this is yeah, you're just blatantly being an asshole. And you know that's the whole thing is this is the internet. This is Twitter. You're like I know you're not tough. I know you're saying this because I know for a fact I'm not. I'm 
I'm a tough guy. Like I can say it to your face. I know I stand on my ten toes down if I say something. I'll say it to yeah. your face. You know, you guys see me react to things. I'm not scared of nobody. I'll stand on my I know you're not about that life, but you're doing it on the internet. You know, and that's what makes me upset about it. It's just like I see these guys who are real bitches in life talking to other men that would fuck them up in person, like they're gonna do something about it. That drives me that's the that drives me crazy. It drives most uh, like men crazy. I want to say alpha, just men in general when you see that. That's right, there's bro. nothing That's... more there's nothing more disgusting and, and angry to see than a guy who you know is not about that life act like they're about that life. It's like an instant so, thing that you just feel this like, oh, I want to beat this guy up so bad. That's why it, it's pointless to engage online, bro. That's why I <laughs> Yeah, it really is. It really legend, is. legend I, I'll see him every once in a while <laughs> like going back he's and great forth at it. with people, but I know it, he's just it's a pure troll job. Like, oh, yeah, it's all he's he, doing. He's one of the he greatest. He loves it. Yeah. Like, he's one of the, I, that's what I want to do. I want to do a show of legend just trolling other people live and then having the reaction come back and forth. He'd be good live. at it. He'd be amazing he'd be, at it. 30 yeah. minutes trolling with legend, it'll be called. That would Every be Friday HBO. night. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's never, I, I could watch a video on Instagram and I, I'll know if Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he yeah. commented on it <laughs> like i'll know I, I already know as soon as i click into the comment section i'm gonna see oh i know he's going deep in the woods comment. <laughs> when that 2, 2 a.m text message comes in yeah. for a, t- a tiktok thing and i know he's in there going deep <laughs> it's too funny right. <laughs> oh, what else we got here we got uh oh we got your boy i don't know if you saw your boy uh joe biden what He's calling out Donald Trump, bro. Like he, like he wants to debate me again. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump lost two debates, debates in 2020. 2020. Since, Since then, he hasn't shown up for debate. debate. Now, now he's exactly acting like he wants to debate, debate me again. Well, well, make my day, day pal. I'll, I'll even, even do, do it twice. twice. So let's, let's pick, pick the dates, dates Donald. Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. I hate this president so much. And I hate all presidents, but this I hate the most, bro. He doesn't want to debate him, bro. He does not want to debate Trump. No like, way. I pray to God it happens, but there's no way. No way. Like I, he, may I, OD, I, he may OD from whatever medication that they, they've been giving him whenever he has to do a speech. Like I don't they even may, think that's it, bro. I'm I'm fully into the into the the mask the mask theory. I think it's a fake person, bro. It's got to be. It's just doesn't. It's not the same person two times. It just doesn't act the same. I, there's too many instances where it's like. It looks like there's a mask. Too many. It just is just one day he's spot on. He knows what he's talking about. And then the next day he's like, he, I mean, he's really, literally retarded. He's like walking into walls. Yeah, it's, that, it's that, that clip. That clip looks like an like it could be like an SNL skit. Yeah, like, yeah. it literally like. And he's saying things like "Make my day, pal." Like, oh, yeah, stuff, bro. Make oh, my day, dude. They should honestly help out the economy. Make that a pay per view fucking debate. People will pay for it. Like, I want to know where that money's going to. I better not go to Ukraine. But oh, I think I know people would pay. Around. When is that Tyson fight? Uh, fuck. I just saw the – they just had the pre- – uh, It's soon, right? It's a couple weeks, if I'm not mistaken. It's in June. I know that. Yeah, I know. I, this, I think it's coming up. I, I, hope, I hope Tyson – I hope Tyson blacks out, bro. I hope he just – all of a sudden, his I know he's he's getting paid to probably lose this fight because that's what I would do say, if, I was, if he blacks out where he just all of a sudden he's back like you know he's twenty two years old like <laughs> like if I was Jake Paul like I would like that would what I would do I would pay this guy as much as I can to beat him up like I would be like here's forty million dollars you're not gonna get this for the rest of your life at sixty take care of everyone in your family but you got to take a dive and I hope he just re like his brain just shuts down and just beats this kid up. I just don't see a sixty-year-old man doing it. No, bro. He has a lot of pride too. Like, it's a yeah, prideful man. See- like, and we're all gonna tune I- in. I think we should. I my. I think we should go live and watch it. You know, we can't stream it, but we should uh, fight companion while it's going on. We should watch. Yeah, it. I hundred percent. We just and we'll get a bunch of people in the chat that will join us too because we'll just watch this. It would just shit. be. Re- it would just be. It would be really hard to watch if. If Tyson just actually like goes down versus him, I don't think there's anything <clears throat> Jake Paul can do, like even with like a like a lead pipe, to 
actually take like hurt Mike Tyson, even at this age. I really don't. Yeah, I, I think it's just it's the setup is in there too. It's boxing, bro. We watch boxing matches that we don't know are being set up are being set up from you know judges and whatnot. He, I, this I I can't see a fair shot going happening here. No, but I, mean, I, I would I, I would love to I would love to see the actual contract they both signed. Yeah, yeah, the actual it, real contract. The actual contract yeah. has to That's going to be like the Operation Warp Fees contract, but you'll yeah. never see it. It's being stored it's got, away. From it's like got to have a, a clause in there where it's like, if Jake tells you to calm down, you need to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, when he like points that, to the ground, that's him telling yeah. you that's enough. Yeah. Because, bro, mm -hmm. it'd be so funny if he, like, you know, Tyson's, like, in his own mind is, like, I'll I'll listen to the contract if I don't knock him out in the first round. At at okay. his age, I'm like fuck it. He's still gonna if he knocks him out, he makes a shit ton of money. And if he doesn't knock him out, he makes a shit ton of money. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think he I, becomes. I, he goes into like superstardom. Like if he knocks this guy out, it becomes. Oh, a new bro. Yeah. Of He's got to be talking to his lawyers right now. Like, do I risk losing all this money if I actually knock this fucking kid out? Yeah. Because, <laughs> or do I knock him out and? Just get all this money, money all this money that I, all this money that I'm going to get from, you know, you know, endorsements and shit from people. Oh, it's coming. Like, 100%. Shows and stuff like, because you know what's going to happen. He's going to go on a fucking another tour of shows after, <clears throat> you know, after the fight if he actually wins. Yeah, I totally agree. Sticking on sports, have you got even watching the basketball at all? Uh, a little bit. Been the, 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 how did the Knicks uh? Do the Knicks are up 3 2. They won last night. They blew them out. And you got the Nuggets up 3 2 also now. And Yochik just after. But did you see that reaction from Shaquille O'Neal the other day when they announced the MVP? MVP? He's a fucking hater, bro. Like, oh, I, I, like, how hater. The like, and then he's just using the word stat padding all the time. It's like, what are you talking about, man? The guy, and then he's got him. He's on the interviews. Like, I, I feel that, you know, SGA should have won it. It's like, no, the guy. Cool. The guy Cool. You yeah. can feel whatever you want. 71% of people didn't agree with you at all. They said 71% said it's Yochik. You're the only Especially one. Especially like, since he probably got robbed last year. Yeah. Like, well, he most likely, yeah, he did. This should have been his third. And and B they had to give it to him. But yeah, he should have had his third one this year. And should have been top of that, like they had him live interviewing him. They're interviewing him and he's shitting on him in front of his face. Like the guy's getting ready for a game and he's like, Oh, I feel like you shouldn't have won it, but you know. Oh, that, that was definitely, it felt like uh, the guys in the studio were like, you won't say that to his face on the interview. Yeah, and he was like, and, oh, yeah. He was like, oh, uh, uh, I'm the you know, Yo I'm you sure. know Yo Chick don't give a fuck. He's like, yeah, whatever, bro. Yeah, I don't even want to play for this shitty league anyway. I'm just doing it because you guys all suck. <laughs> I love just, that he, like, he, like, yeah. he's not even celebrating. Like, he doesn't give a fuck. That he's no, he's that like, yeah, I can't I wait to go home and ride my horse. I got to find trophy space for this. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got one more video I want to share for you, and then we'll start closing out. Cause, uh, I got to go to work today, ladies and gentlemen. I sound like a 37-year-old Boston bartender today with my voice. Hi, uh, well, you have a new port. Uh, <laughs> let me get a new port. My voice is so shot. <laughs> oh, there's a, you know there's a Happy Gilmore 2 coming out, right? Oh, dude, we lost fucking uh, – we lost Chubbs, bro. Oh, that's Chubbs. right. Yeah, we lost Apollo. Fucked. What are you? Uh, are you? Do you play golf? I do play golf. Yeah, I suck. At Not it. well. I love going to play. I love to play golf, but I suck at it. Playing golf is probably like every every man should do it. I I really I really believe that it's a good time away from like all the stresses of life, and it's just you versus yourself. This mm -hmm. is a perfect sport for like a an actual like. You can't lose your you can't lose your cool, but you you're gonna lose your cool. So it's like a perfect way to like try to be zen. But at the same time, you have beers and shit with your friends. It's it's awesome. Like it's a lot of fun. It sounds like a great time. It's terrible. It's a the hardest sport I think I've ever played. Easily. Really? Like, yeah, I would say it's the hardest sport I played. Like, it, it, so much could go wrong with such like like you know a millimeter off of hitting the ball. Like you're fucking up. I cancel that. Actually, we'll save that for next week, the next video. It's about whorish women. I'd like to get more takes on it.
<laughs> we'll save the horse fit for a family event. <laughs> yeah. What about oh, yeah. um? What about Aaron Rodgers and Tucker? Yeah, that's exactly. What I was See that shit? Out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he brought up the whole uh, Pat Tillman thing too as well, like how they uh they uh kept his journal in the lock so they can promote the war during this whole time that he was uh he was dead. I believe it, bro. It's it's definitely what they did. I think that awkward. The whole way, the whole story behind it was so awkward. The fact too. that it was friendly fire, bro. Like, yeah, friendly fire. And then they try to say uh, and they just try to hide the whole situation. And then the way they honored him, it's like, bro, they they definitely. They definitely were using his thing as a way to promote it. Here's this one right here. He's talking about what the NFL did to the unvaccinated people. Let's pull that one up. Bing bong. What I, I like him less after hearing that. The, the people, people who called for the death, death of the unvaccinated. The unvaccinated. That's, that's like kind of, kind of the category that's, that's harder for me to people, people like Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel for, for example. example. But I knew people personally. That when yeah. I told him I wasn't, I wasn't taking his bullshit ass shot. Looked at me and were, called me a piece of shit. I mean, like, looked at me I and get told the, me, uh, I hope, I hope you understand. You're killing people. I would you get know? the, uh, come on, like, yeah, come like on. as You're if not like getting it. Like, uh, yeah, I got COVID. I was fine, right? I get it. You were scared. You're a little bitch. That's your problem. But I got it. I was fine. You got it. You were fine. But you still need more protection. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that, and I, I. I saw it's been talked about more and more i'm convinced that at least a quarter of the shots were were saline there had to be a theory too yeah i heard that theory there had to be a percentage that was saling to you know just to show that there wasn't a reaction they were doing a live experiment so you have yeah you know you know that there was no reaction in those shots yeah so that automatically drops that drops the percentage of people with that with a reaction, like, so it's it's crazy, bro. I mean, but like, but just like he's saying, they did say you want to die. I knew people that wouldn't hang out with me. I knew people that that would shun me. I knew people that thought I was the dumbest person in the world. And I'm a conspiracy theorist because of all this. All because I was like, yeah, I just don't think I should take it. And it wasn't even like because they didn't really know me and my mentality. Like, you guys know me. I go off deep end down the rabbit hole. But I. I didn't portray it that way. I just portrayed it like this is weird that you want me to do something that's not that doesn't make sense. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. you get it. Let me know. Okay. The flu shot was to... always the flu yeah. shot was always I get it to help myself. Like yeah. Now this oh, you... in, COVID's killing less than the flu, and then all those numbers are fake. Now now we're vindicated because everything was fake. All the numbers were fake. Everything that they had, all the people they stuffed into the nursing right. homes that they oh they all... inflated the numbers like it's like. All you gotta, all you gotta look at is the the number of flu deaths in 2020. Yeah, it's like zero. It, it, it was like zero. It was it's yeah. essentially gone. Just that, I just that whole time you can go on and we can talk about it. And everybody's like, oh, you should get over it, bro. That whole time people acted like such pieces of shit to each other over some dumb shit that now they're in hindsight yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, well, I guess we learned. Like, no, I mean, perfect, perfect that- storm, perfect storm of politics and. You know, it, it is it was already getting kind of bad with with, you know, if you voted for Trump in 2016, well, which was crazy is the guy still to this day, which I think is a terrible thing. I feel like when he, he talks about keeps the vaccine, taking credit, like, yeah. hey, dude, if what are you trying to lose this election? You can win easily. Just shut the fuck up about it, bro. That's it. Stop. People are not with it. Like you, you got to stop doing that. It makes no sense. And I know I, I'm, wait, like, I'm waiting say, for I'm wait, I'm waiting for when it eventually gets pushed on the in the media mainstream media that like all the he finally starts getting all the credit <laughs> for for oh, yeah. the shot that's what like, they should do. if cnn was smart they would definitely do that cnn was real smart they'd be like listen we got we got hoodwink this guy yeah, that's like, like everybody got my you know? everybody's got birth defects oh i man. would say there's a better chance he goes to jail if they investigated operation warp speed oh bro first of all like i said till this day people don't even know Operation Warp Speed has a secret contract that nobody says they paid uh, one of Peter Thiel's offshoot companies to uh, keep that contract secure, digitally secure, like billions of dollars. People don't know the infrastructure. The, not only that, but there was all these wearable tech uh, surveillance grid that are still up and running. 
even though there's no uh, coronavirus surveillance. So that should tell you something. All these companies are in cahoots together with this surveillance tech to, to kind of like mimic a social credit score as well. That's still up and running. Nobody knows about that. We're talking about billions of dollars that went into these things. And people don't forget, people forget that, hey, this trillion dollar thing called Operation Warp Speed directly affected inflation. Like it's, it's, there's a reason why we gave a trillion dollars to the, to the pharmaceutical companies to join up with the military, like literally military, it's not crazy. the military industrial complex. We're talking pharmaceuticals hand in hand with the military together, working together. Like that's what people don't get at all. And it's still happening. There's no answers for it. It's been hush hush. And all we get is, Hey, I did it. I had the best, best thing. And if it ever happens again, we got a big system. Like, right. We just let pharmaceutical companies and the military it's, it's, get together. Yeah, it's it. the one thing that, like, I think he's got to keep pushing it because if he starts trying to back away from it, I think they will try to pin some kind of fault of <laughs> yeah, any, any, some, deaths, yeah. any any neglect, essentially, like, will be pinned on him. Like, yeah. Oh, guys, listen, hit that like button. Show some love to the boys if you're listening live. Appreciate you guys. You can be anywhere in the world and you're here with the Ron boys, and I appreciate that so much. Let's finish this clip because Daddy got to get to work because uh, spent too much time. I'll pay the bills, bro. Who famously, famously said, said Sean Penn as well. And, and Sean Penn as well. Who well. I know, actually, and sort of like, like but what, what, what I like, I like him less after hearing, hearing that. that. What, how, how do you, do you treat, treat people like that, that who wanted, wanted you to die? die? Dr. Dr. Fauci, Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. And that choice doesn't, doesn't seem so tough, tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Weezy. You're it's not even that. It's just a bad joke. That's what's even worse about it. I think, I think you frame that, that in the right, right, in, in right place. place. Like, there's... Um, uh, you know, yeah, there's, there's a great, great mashup that we've talked, talked about a few times where it was all these different shows, shows and it said, brought to you by Pfizer. Yeah. Anderson, Anderson Cooper, brought, brought to you by Pfizer. It's an amazing. I think, I think if they realize that there's, it's, it's all about the money. money. And, and, and as you get into this, you read Bobby's book about the real Anthony Fauci, you realize if you want to know what's really going on, not just in the big pharma, but the government is just all over the money. And and even in the NFL, I mean, there was a strong push. They sent suited out to every team to try and force a vaccination level above 90% on their team with zero, with zero exemption, with zero uh, uh, informed consent. consent. Uh, just, just get this so that we look good because Big Pharma ad spend is humongous, not just on the late night shows. It's obviously influences Hollywood, the NFL. So you have to understand who is actually. But I, got, I was talking to a Navy SEAL friend of mine the other day, who just got out of, out of the Navy. And, and like, like professional, professional athletes, athletes I mean, these are the last people who needed the vax. And, and so, so there was this intense push to make them all get the vax. He, he left, left the Navy, Navy over it. But he said most of his friends on the SEAL team he was on did, did not get, get the vax, got fake vax cards. cards because they, they knew they were very in touch with their physical health. They're SEALs. They're not, they're not so different from an NFL, NFL player. player. Mm-hmm. How many NFL players actually got the vax? Do you have any idea? I don't have any idea. I know that I'm sure that there was plenty who got fake cards. I feel like... You know, you know, there's, there's uh, I, think I think there's, there's a base level of uh, hesitancy. The P- yeah, I mean, it just goes to show you, bro. Money controls everything, bro. This is what they wanted to do. This is what they did. It, even in, you know, my industry, it was crazy how they coerced people into complying with them, telling you, well, we're not going to fire you. We're just going to put you on the bench for a little while until you get to your senses. This is what they told people. Hey. We're going to put I, you on the bench till you come to your senses. <laughs> I work from home and they were starting to fucking force people to get it. Like they were so getting crazy. people ready that in six months, we're going to be making it mandatory. You have to get it. Like I was going into the office like one, one day a week and they, I had to, when I logged into the bit, like into my computer, um, because when I scanned into the building, I had within like a half hour, to like do a COVID questionnaire um, <laughs> before like I got a call from HR essentially like because I <laughs> I'm unvaxxed like that's crazy bro like crazy I work from home for the majority of <laughs> my time and I'm you're forcing me to get it or else I have to like essentially my life becomes a little bit uncomfortable like it, nuts 
absolutely nuts. It's just it was just crazy because they enforced all these rules. But like in my line of work, where everything is dangerous there, from what you breathe in to the moving pumps and the parts in the pumps, and to the machines that you're running that can kill you just by mishapping, just blow up in your face, yeah. you're gone. Don't give a That's not that wasn't the big thing. Like no safety for the guys aren't the big thing. It's this you got to protect yourself. It's just I it showed a lot. Of I knew people. something was fucked up when middle of the pandemic, my wife comes home who works in, as a nurse in the ER with a picture of the masks that they were using at work that says uh, not for medical use there. Yeah. They were, it was a box of, of what, like what, like nail stylus yes. yeah. used at a salon. Yeah. Bro. Like and not only and that, what, but think about when it came to masks, right? So I worked with OSHA for 22 years, right? You, you get taught in OSHA, you don't get protected from any type of mask. You need a respirator or, you know, N95, which you can only wear for one time use. N95s and not multiple yep. uses. Never, ever. They never are. And people would argue with that. And they say, no, you get some level of protection from masks. No, you get zero. When I tell you zero, ladies and gentlemen, you get zero protection from a mask, period. And you had people just come in sense. No, you get a little bit. Even if it's 10%, it's something. It's like, no, it's even worse because you're keeping everything inside your mouth. Like it's like it's not working the way you think it is. And the way people just they just were able to just convince themselves that no, this is it. They told us. Why would they lie to us? Why? Why would the government lie to us? They love us. You got the government right now, ladies and gentlemen, actively working against you if you don't see it now. You got 90% of America not supporting Ukraine, not supporting Israel, which is true. I mean, whatever you want to say, people are not with it because everything's fucked up here. And they're Our just tax dollars go to it. Yeah, well, we don't care. They're not representing us at all. But that's just another thing. We gotta start closing up here. Chato, thank you for joining me today. Me, the of dynamic course, buddy. Of we are today. Uh, you got anything to say to people to leave them with? Yeah, Legend will be back <laughs> next episode. Don't worry, boys. All right. <laughs> no, we'll we had back. a good time today, a good conversation. We would thank Legend for calling in on vacation. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, if you guys are in the chat, thank you guys in the chat. If you guys are uh, watching on X, hit that like button. If you guys are watching the YouTube, like, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. I can take the criticism. I want to thank Kratom, K-R, number 8, O-M.com for sponsoring the show. They're a great product, great product, great company. I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for an alternate to deal with your aches and pains or even take a little- Tell them we sent you. Tell them we sent you. This product is excellent, especially if you take their- their uh their reserve brand i mean that thing is tremendous it's all thank natural you, thank you kratom for joining us also go visit our website theharamlife.com thank you guys so much for joining us tonight i'm refleeted thank you guys and god bless peace peace